hi guys welcome to this class in this video i'll be showing you how to sew a raw full sleeve like this you can see that this design is very very fine you can it can be used on a blouse this is an Igbo blouse you can also use it on a dress also if you are new to this channel please kindly subscribe and if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for staying with me on this channel so let's get started i use doll face for it so I'm keeping the doll face on full so that it will serve as both fabric and lining and then I look for the midpoint of the width of the fabric and then I chuck it from up to down in order to form a straight line. I use one yard of doll face fabric for this so why folding as I fold, folded it open so I add a thin 18 by um, 30 okay so that 18 point i divided it into two i have um, i have 18 okay so the length i also divided the length into two so the length as i folded it into two the length is two thousand thirty. Well. so divided into two i have 15 on both side then the length is um, 36 here that's one yeah. yard why do I have to see I have um, 18? So I have 15 by 18. So I'm taking 4 4 inches from the midpoint of that line. I'm taking 4 4 inches. Depending on how wide you want the uh, flowers to be, it can be 3 inches, it can be 4 inches, it can be 5 inches. So I took 4 inches and I'm marking it 4 4 inches based on the line that I've I've marked out so from the midpoint of those two lines, I'm just marking 4-4 four, four, and I mark it in a way that the lines, the points are close so that I can be able to join them easily. So I'm going to be connecting them from the dotted points, that's the midpoint. I'm going to be drawing a curve that I'm going to cover it out although it's not showing when now i'm still going to draw it out so that i can see so i'm just drawing it covering it together based on that four inches that i've marked earlier so you keep covering it i already did another video on this too and i've got the flowers just is the same video and I explain it the same way. So if you are just using it as a flounce on a skirt, maybe you have to use the wideness of like 10 inches or 8 inches. So this one is just 4 inches because I'm sewing it on a sleeve. So you just curve it. You can see the way I drew it. Okay, so that's it. You curve until you reach the end where you can no longer curve again. So I'm going to be cutting it out. Most times I pin it before cutting. So it's good you pin before cutting. Though this one I pin after cutting. It's good you pin it before cutting so that it doesn't shift because I'm using it as both lining and fabric.
Okay, so that's the cut out, and then I'm pinning it down. Although I advise that you pin before cutting. So I pin both the up and the down of it because I'll be sewing both the up and the down. You can also pin on the uh, rough side. Now when you are pinning, make sure that your pin faces up. That's so that by the time you finish ironing, your gum stay or peplum stay and hair stay, you will not find it difficult to remove the the pin. So I'm placing the hair stay first to iron it on the um on on it on the fabric before i place the peplum stay because i don't want it to look rough when i finish ironing it if you use the peplum stay directly you may have a rough look so if you put an hair stay you can use either sides of it whether the lining part or the fabric part that since we are using the same fabric as lining and fabric okay you can use either part of it so now i've ironed it with the i've used iron to iron the hair stay and the gum stay and uh, peplum stay to it so now i'm cutting it out after cutting it out i'm going to be sewing the down part and the upper part with the sewing machine and then i'll leave a point at the hedge in order to use it to bring it out So I'm going to sew it now. Okay, so now I did another video on how to cut an off shoulder sleeve. I'll be dropping the link in the description box. I am using the off shoulder as a base, off shoulder sleeve as a base to sew the flounce on. So I'm just going to be creating a curve or a, 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 a curves on the off shoulder sleeve so that I will use it as a guide while fixing the flans on it and then you are going to note where your sewing allowance will be so that you don't sew on that point so I'm marking the sewing allowance first I'm marking the sewing allowance point first and then from there I will fix sew it and then if you don't want it to be showing at the um, arm area, you don't want it to show at the arm, you just leave enough space from the arm area so it's basically on the front part. However, you want it to be, that's you just decide it on the sleeve, on that's the base before you now tack it or sew it to it. So I started by tacking the the mouth. So that is how you're going to tack it. Although I tack some point, then I use pin to pin some points, and then I that's pin it the way I want it to look, and then I took it to the sewing machine to use the machine to tack it down.
so i kept putting it folding it the way i want the look to be then i pin it down the way i want it to look before i now took it to the machine to use the machine to tack it down So this is the outcome after pinning it and pinning it the way I want it to be and I use the machine and also I need you to tack it the way I want it to be. So if you have found this video helpful, kindly give it a thumbs up. If you are new to the channel, please subscribe. This is a new channel. We are just growing, starting in December and right now we have, we have, there has, there has been improvement but we still need your support to subscribe to the channel and if there is any video you like to see on the channel please put it in the notification box and we're going to work on it